Have you ever noticed how in Hollywood movies all the villains are played by Brits? It's quite hard to tempt me to do commercials because I'm, you know, always busy preparing my next film. But this just struck me as, you know, a really great story and very funny. And 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 like all good ideas, it it, it hit at a truth. And I and I found myself sort of wondering why is this cliche true? Why why do Brits make such good villains? To get that cast, Mark Strong, Ben Kingsley, Tom Hiddleston, who are all famous for playing iconic bad guys, to get them to reference some of their own performances and their own attitudes to villainy, I thought was was great fun. A villain is in control. A villain is a mask of elegance and style, behind which is a, uh, a whirring and, um, and brilliant intelligence. But uh, the trick is to make it all look easy. I think the best bad guys are very charming and very witty. And their villainy, as it were, comes at the, the twist of a wrist or the flick of a finger. We never break a sweat. We don't get our hands dirty. And uh, the devil plays all the best tunes, um, particularly in a British accent. We're exotic and unusual. That fits the role of the bad guy very well. Also, I think we're unafraid of playing villains. I think we didn't grow up in a culture which reveres the hero necessarily. You know, we have Richard III, we have Macbeth, you know, murders a king. The reason why I think villains are kind of important is a hero is only as good as his villain. You can't be a hero without a villain. My formative years were with Shakespeare. His villains are extraordinary, they're brilliant. They're so richly layered that a British actor finds it almost impossible to, to create a two-dimensional villain if he's explored our wonderful Shakespearean heritage. It's actually one of the great pleasures as a director who brought, brought up in London to be able to use the, your own city. And actually it was quite fun to shoot in all these iconic locations. Pretty much all the action you see is done for real. You know, the helicopter chasing the car is done for real, which kind of, in a way, gives you more latitude, maybe, to play on the humour at the same time. Mark Strong turned out to be incredibly impressive in doing his own driving with the Russian arm. He was true to his villainous character, and that he was completely calm about doing, you know, manoeuvres. The first thing I noticed about the car is the kind of roar of it. You're sitting low down, looking over that dashboard with that bonnet, with that noise. I mean, I can see why you might have thought that, that was a kind of villain of all cars. We recorded the score at Abbey Road, where we also did the King's Speech with the London Symphony Orchestra, who are one of the best bands in the world. Alexandra de Splat did an amazing job creating a score that both referenced the tradition of sort of action movie scores, but also, of course, being Alexandra come up with a really memorable melody. It was interesting to effectively do in miniature a genre I've not done as a film, so it definitely made me more curious to try the genre to longer length than two minutes.